Those healers just wait till the last minute, don't they? They're like, ah, mana regen, blah blah blah. I'm like, dude, no, now, it hurts. <laughs> Hello, friends, my name is Brandon Dayton. I am your humble narrator. And this is It's a Wipe. This is basically the entire game, what you're looking at right now, but it is an extremely fun strategy game about managing an MMORPG guild, and in doing so, um, you have to upkeep everybody's morale while giving them all equipment because people get upset if they don't get the upgrade, and if you've ever played an MMO, it all really rings true. It has a great sense of humor, there's little things in the, uh, in the text box, you know, somebody's cat has taken over their keyboard and such. So we're gonna load up a new game, and I'll show you guys around, because I really do enjoy it. So, my name is Brandon, and my character name, as you may know, is Dayton Does. But we're gonna call it Dayton. And the guild is gonna be Wu-Tang. Wu-Tang Guild! <laughs> uh, Warrior is a defensive melee class. Basically your tank. Clerics heal a single ally. Rogues do substantial melee damage every round. Wizards cast single target spells that they have to charge up. Healers, uh, druid healers heal the entire raid. Mages damage the entire enemy raid. And bards cast spells um, to, buff the, to buff the raid, basically. So I will be a warrior because it's the most important class, basically. And we're going to do PvE, which is normal, because this game is really hard. If you ask for it hard, it'll give it to you very hard. I'm not going to play the tutorial, because I'm here. Um, there's lots of things you can do. Go on a raid, take the night off, recruit some guild members, chat with your guild members, use items, buy items, uh, view guild members lets you kick people. But right now we don't have anybody but me. So we're going to go recruit guild members, Sir kills a lot is a warrior, and they all have personalities uh, that you have to pay attention to, and sometimes they'll have extra traits, like this guy's an herbalist, uh, so I will take Carlanus with me, because herbalist sometimes makes extra potions, which is quite helpful. Day one, week one, get a raid together, boys. I like how these people are, like, ready to raid. We're gonna fight the evil orc army. No raiders left at home, which is nice. Alright, so everybody's um, assigned a role. You can assign somebody as DPS, like Dayton, sure, why not? Go DPS, because there's obviously only one target. Uh, you can switch the healers to tanks or whatever, something weird, but usually it's best to go just with the default, and Carlonis is gonna be the primary tank, and we will have everybody just heal the most injured raider, basically. You can't target the druid, because obviously they're healing everybody. And in the, this last screen you can switch the priority, which will be important when we get to the final boss of this part. Raid Rose. Okay, this is important too. You gotta organize your melee characters in the front and your casters in the back, basically. And sometimes they will switch, so you have to pay attention and readjust them accordingly. Axork. He's got an axe to grind. Well, so do I. Lots of commands here. This kind of seems overwhelming at first, but you'll usually be using this one up here. Stick with the plan. Healer's attack is weird. Makes them heal. You can point out a heal target. Uh, spam heals on the tanks. Heals on the raid. Stop DPS completely. Switch the tanks. Switch somebody else's role. And then healer switch. Which, those three buttons are kind of the same thing. In essence. Focus DPS on a different target. Um, basically, that focuses everybody at one target, so the heals will stop as well. Um, OMG kill. Everyone will stop what they're doing. Back up, hug the mob. Kind of self-explanatory. You can switch the rows in case people decide to switch on their own, because that will happen for uh, seemingly no reason, but that's... That's people acting of their own free will, which makes it kind of a cool guild managey thing. And then you can uh, activate ability, which we do. Some people have battle res. I don't think I got anybody with a battle res, which might come in troublesome, but we'll find out. Uh, 
out of the fire, tell him to stop standing in fire, and flee the raid. So, we're gonna stick with the plan for this turn, because that's easy. And we'll see how it goes. Just stick with the plan until things go awry. So Carlanus is getting pretty low on health. There's still a couple turns left for the wizards. So hopefully... Okay, yeah, the heals just went off, so he's back to full health. It's pretty nice. Carlanus fled to the back row, so he doesn't get to attack this turn. Luckily, target is dead. Broken Bull Trinket gives a, a plus one threat, so obviously that's something that we want to give to the tanks. So I'll give it to myself, because ma ego! Congratulate me, thank you, thank you. Yes, that's so nice. Badly dyed leather armor. We can give it to the only bard we have. Hooray, he's happy about that. Orcish Toothpick. Oh, cool. So that's a new weapon for our rogue. Our one and only rogue who loves loot. So, since they all love loot, it's usually best to take just one rogue, but it does make the battles a little slower than I would like. Um, we'll put Dayton back as a tank because we have two axe orcs to deal with this time. The graphics in the game aren't terrible. I rather like the character designs and whatnot. While they could be a little more fleshed out, it it definitely serves its purpose. And then things like that. Dumbledee deci decides to spout his political views. It's totally something that would happen in a raid. So obviously we're smashing up Axork pretty good, and Axork one is just uh, taking minimal damage. Unfortunately, it looks like the tanks are about to go down. So, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully one of the healers is about to drop a spell. Okay, yep. They're good for another round, I think. And I think that Axe Orc is about to go down. And then I can switch both of them to Carlanis. I think is who's being attacked by Axe Orc 1. Carlanis is all tapped to browse the internet. You asshole! I thought you were a hardcore raider, bro. Bro, you thing. You said you're hardcore. I don't understand. Oh, burn him. Oh, yeah. Good job, cowbell. The bard killed that guy. <laughs> Six damage out of 300. Gwyneth has run AFK for food. Oh, you're gonna kill us all. Frazzle realizes the target is dead. See, that's kind of like a waste of a turn for the wizards, but what can you do, really? Somebody needs to keep Carlanus up. He's gonna have to pay repair costs. No, that's not a thing, but it totally should be. <laughs> because you get to disenchant items and it adds to your guild funds. Oh my god, Carlanus is gonna die. Oh my god! Okay, Dayton's fully healed. We need to switch the healers to both being Carlanus. You... Switch. Hopefully he'll last if he gets critted. Okay, he's alright. Whew, sometimes you get a crit at the wrong time. And that's why two tanks, but... If the first target was still up and you get the crit... Well, no. It wouldn't kill him. It would put you in a bad position, though. And that's what I love about this game. It is kind of, kind of like an MMO. It's a little luck. See, there goes Carlanis. Nobody can heal him. So now everybody will hopefully switch to Dayton. Yeah, they did. Do we have a battle res? Mm, we'll use it. Battle res on Carlanis. Welcome back, friend. Chop them up. There's kind of a waste, but it restores itself every battle. We've got a knight's shield, and I will give it to Carlanus because I took the last item. Hooray! Good for you. Polished mace. We will give to Gwyneth because that's a more clever name. Sorry, Helinda. Next time. Cowbell gets a chipped sword. Oh, our bard's getting geared up. Tell you what. 
Oh, Frazzle's sad. Well, let's give it to Frazzle. Oh, 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 sorry guys, now they're pissed off too. Fuck. It's hard. It's hard dealing with wizards. <laughs> yeah, next fight. Okay, this is a two-axe orc. So we will... Yeah, all primary tank. P tank! Both the healers focus on me. There's a priority. Rose. And go. Two axe. Because the only thing better than one axe is five axes. What? Go! Kill him! Now! Cast a buff improving heals. Cast a buff improving spell damage. Oh, so the mage doesn't have to cast uh, AoE every round. Sometimes he'll improve the wizard damage, which is kind of nice. Oh yeah, that's half his health in one round. That really sucks. Carlanus has more health. I might have made a mistake. I'll have myself dead in minutes, but it's alright. That's why you tank, right? Protect the raid! The raid! Okay. It's alright. More heals, more heals, more heals! Oh my god! He's gonna die at the end of this round if he doesn't get a heal. Okay. Yep. <sighs> Those healers just wait till the last minute, don't they? They're like, ah, mana regen, blah blah blah. I'm like, dude, no! Now! It hurts! What happens if he crits me? All things you have to think about during an MMO? All things you have to think about during this game. Red potion from Carlanus, and he gives it to Dayton. I don't know how you trade during a raid battle. I guess if you're standing right next to each other, but... Then who's stacking Sunder Armor? <laughs> Oh, I kind of miss WoW, but it really did turn into something that I hated in the end. It's like, vanilla WoW was so good, and I spent so much time in 60, touch, touch next Ramus, and that felt so awesome. And then, uh, Burning Crusade came out, and it was just like, now you replace all your gear within the first five minutes of being in the Outlands. And by the time, I mean, I did start raiding again. They got me in the second time. I raided at level 70. But then by the time they, they came out with a third one and they're like, hey, replace your gear again. I was just like, I worked so hard for this stuff. No, I just can't. And I quit. I left it all behind forever. And I kind of do miss it, but in a way, not at all. Am I going to die this round? Oh, Gwyneth decided to attack instead. That's wonderful. I'm going to die this round. At least he's going down. He's at 30 health! Oh, I'm at 37. I'm at 13. Okay. Tank switch. Can we switch tanks? Yeah, Carlan, let's go. Dayton, back away! Did it work? Nope. Killed Dayton. We we'll killed the orc too. <laughs> uh, I'll give the leather to our only rogue. Good for you. He's so happy. He's just like, ah, I'm the one in this this guild. The only one. Frazzle, I gave something. I'll give Dumbledore some stuff. Yeah. Sorry, Frazzle. You got a lot of stuff. Holy buckler. Give it to Helinda because she didn't get something last time. Oh, that's so nice. They congratulate. But secretly they don't like it because their morale goes down. But it's only minus one. Which is good. Razzle Double D. Magic Man, you need something. Yeah, sorry, wizards. <laughs> it's hard dealing with wizards, like I said. Now this, this is the final fight. This is a, a final battle. So I'm gonna make Carlanus the primary tank, I think. Primary for Orc Captain. And then I'll assign the Orc healers to Dayton because I know they're not really gonna attack. They'll be trying to heal most of the time. Um, 
Whoa, 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 whoa. Gwyneth switched to a DPS and I didn't notice. What a bitch. <laughs> um, so yeah, now she's back to healing, which is good. And I didn't remember that I wanted Carlanus to tank the big orc. Okay, so now they should both be healing Carlanus. Because I'm betting it, Dayton won't be injured by the healers. And then for target priority, we'll drop the orc captain to last, because the healers are obviously the priority. So hopefully, if all goes according to plan, orc healer will go down first. Alright, Rose. Good, good, good. Let's get to it, boys. Orc captain, he means business. Well, we're gonna stick with the plan. Until it goes terrible. Apparently you can interrupt their casting with your with your casting if they get hit by a wizard. And I've also noticed that there are counters next to the name that tell you what round of spell casting they're on, so you don't have to worry. Is Carlana's gonna get a heal? Because you know Helinda's on her uh, last round of casting. And Gwyneth is on her third. So they're both casting big heals, and this orc healer is about to go down, which is super sweet! Get wrecked, get wrecked! Next round. <laughs> Critically hits orc captain for four. Dang, bro. You got him so good. Orc healer's down. Keep at him. Keep at him. Tank's down. Tank got critted. Tank is down. Healer switch. Everybody's got to go to Dayton. Dayton, Dayton. Save the day. Maybe. Willow accidentally backs away. Well, good, Willow. You're supposed to be casting the AoE heals, but nobody's really getting AoE damage, so I've been letting her just whack away at the mob. Oh. Now she would have attacked the mob, but it's too far away because she backed up. Derp. Derp a derp a doo. Oh my god, Dayton's about to go down. We need to battle res Carlanus. Ah. Oh. Then I have to switch back the healers. Oh man. Okay. Let's do it. He's back. Dayton is gonna go down. We're not even halfway through his health. It's bad. It's real bad. Dead. Oh shit. Alright. Healer's dead. Fuck. He lived would have acted, but it's dead. And then he smacked the rogue. Fuck. This is going terrible. Carlanus, you're supposed to be tanking. Why are you not tanking? Willow, you're supposed to be healing. Why aren't you healing? It's going horrible. There goes the rogue. Flap. No way. Blop! There goes the mage. <sighs> We're fleeing the raid. Sorry, guys. I'll get you next time, Orc Captain. Fucking asshole. I think I need another rogue. So, friends, this has been It's a Wipe. There are quite a few levels, I believe, ten? Nine? <laughs> something like that but it offers quite a, an amount of replayability just because you can build your party differently and go more DPS heavy or healer heavy and see how it works out which which combination works best for you while also uh, trying not to have loot whores ruin everything because they will leave the guild after a while and just be jerks in general like people in MMOs tend to do they're very very selfish 
but that includes me. <laughs> so good job, it's a wipe. Uh, I I kind of feel like most of the gameplay is just clicking stick with the plan, um, but it is a good strategy game. I would give it a solid six out of ten. Uh, if there were more mechanics involved, um, there are deeper fights that I've gotten to with uh, gnomes causing AOE damage and, you know, fire that you did have to back out of, but the the first few fights uh, take, take a while, and uh, I think they need to be a little more action-packed in order to score higher on my list. So, this has been another Dayton Dissect on It's a Wipe. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I sincerely hope you will join us next time. Until then, friends. Bye bye! One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.